Good morning, DMS. I'm Avery. And I'm Lydia. Welcome to the DMS News Show for the week of April 11, 2022. Make sure to keep track of your grades. If you see a pattern of missing assignments or low quiz and test scores, please contact the teacher. Yearbooks are now $40 and you can purchase one at yearbookforever.com. There is also a link on the GMS homepage. Make sure you don't share any of your school passwords with ever, anyone, even your friends. Sports Physical Night is coming up on April 21st from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Greenwood High School Auction. You don't need to register. It's $20 and it will count for all of next school year. Now let's go to the interview of the week, fun facts, and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the Jackson Jackson Fact Show. We're the Jacksons, and we're here to say some Easter facts. Americans buy over 700 million marshmallow peeps during Easter each year. Florida has a record for the largest Easter egg ever, with 9,753 children participating and 501,000 eggs. Easter's celebration date is movable as it follows the cycle of the moon. The largest Easter egg ever was made in Tosca, Italy and weighed seven and a half tons. In different countries, other animals replaced the Easter Bunny. For example, in Switzerland, the Easter Bunny is the Cuckoo Marin. Even though Easter is a Christian holiday, the Easter Bunny actually comes from the Germanic goddess Astyr. That's all for the Jackson's Facts Show. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to the Sports Update. I'm Aubrey. On Monday, April 11th, girls tennis is versus Plainfield Community at home at 5 p.m. On Tuesday, April 12th, track and field have a three-way at home at 5.30 p.m. On Thursday, April 14th, track and field are versus Center Grove Central away at 5 p.m. That's all for sports. Hello, my name is Lillian and welcome to our 62nd book review. Today I'll be reviewing Shadow and Bone, written by Leigh Bardugo. Here's a quick summary of the book. Shadow and Bone follows a war-torn world in which a cartographer, Alina Starkoff, lives. In a sudden turn of events, Alina realizes she has extraordinary powers that could be the key to setting her homeland free from a dark entity called the Fold, filled with monstrous creatures called Volcra. Shadow and Bone is a three-part book series, the first book being Shadow and Bone. Here's some things I disliked in the book. They didn't really do a good job explaining how the world and the magic worked in the world, they just kind of threw you into the story. The books feel boring at some points when they're just traveling from town to town. The plot of the books is very repetitive. They get captured, they escape, they find a monster, and then they try to beat the bad guy. Here are some things I liked in the book. The characters seem very human, and they have thoughts that a real person would have in that situation. That The dialogue seems real and flows well through the story. The books aren't very long, and neither are the chapters, so you don't need to be able to focus for lots of hours to read them. Overall, I would recommend reading the Shadow and Bone series. That's all for my book review. Have a great week, GMS.